Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get up and running with Django on the Google Cloud Platform in one click. We're gonna be using the Marketplace to deploy Django to a virtual machine. And I'm gonna walk you through the process of doing just that, as well as making sure that Django, the test server, is up and running. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Um, what we're gonna do here from the Google Cloud uh, console window, we can come up to the left-hand side and go into the marketplace. And this is where you can do a vast variety of different deployments here. Uh, we're gonna be just specifically working with Django today. So I'm gonna search for that. And there are different implementations of Django here as far as like the, the stack is concerned, but we're gonna be using the one uh, that's from Google, Google click to deploy Django stack. So click on that. And um, this gives you an overview of what to expect if you're not familiar with Django. Basic overview of that and pricing. We'll look a little bit more at that on the next page. So click on launch. And this is the software we're gonna be pre-installed. So Django 2.2, Git, uh, we got a MySQL server here in Apache. So that looks good. As far as the cost per month, this will vary as your needs vary. So right now this is just a one, um, one CPU core and 3.75 gigabytes of memory. And you know, this is gonna be 30 bucks a month, but you can configure this to however you like or whatever your needs are. If you need more memory, less memory, all that stuff. So let's just call this uh, Django stack test. And I'm gonna keep the defaults here. I mean, if you need more cores, you can do that, but this is fine for the sake of this tutorial. Um, I don't think we'll be needing HTTPS. We'll just do everything over HTTP and that looks good. So let's go ahead and deploy this right now. Uh, this, this takes usually, I don't know, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. So if it looks like it's gonna take more than that, uh, I think what I'll do is just stop the video and catch back up with you when it finishes because I don't wanna waste any of your time. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, when this finishes, I will resume. All right, guys, we're back just about 30 seconds or so later. That installation has finished and now we are ready to go ahead and log into the server. There's a couple different ways we can do that. Um, you can see here that uh, they, they give you the option of doing it through a web browser using another SSH client. I, I'm not sure why they don't have the G Cloud command available here, but I'll show you how to access that just in a second. Um, this, this right here is the IP address that your instance is running at. We can look at that and by default, go to the actual page. By default, it's just the Apache server that was installed. They don't have like the test server for Django up and running yet. We'll go ahead and do that next. Um, but like I was saying, this there's no G Cloud. And I mean, if you don't have G Cloud installed, and if you don't know what that is, I'll have a video linked up above for you. Um, you can you can either do that or open in a web browser and that'll log in via SSH as well. Um, but I just wanna show you here that this, this instance is going to live in your compute engine section under your VM instances. And I just wanna show you that to make sure you know the connection there. Um, once this loads. So here is our Django stack test VM. We can here, as you can see, we can view the G cloud command to connect. And that's what we'll be doing here in this video. But again, we can do the browser or SSH as well. So I'm gonna copy that command, open up a terminal window here, make it big so everybody can see, and I'll paste that in. And this will connect us uh, via SSH to our G cloud instance. So now we are on at that IP address here and we'll just get this right there. Okay, um, let's just poke around here. Let's go into the var www directory. There's nothing here except for the HTML, like the default landing page that we just looked at. Um, so you can pretty much deploy your Django test server application anywhere you want. This is fine right here for now. And because Django is pre-installed on this instance, we can access the Django admin command with a tab complete here. And we can do Django admin start app. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not start app, it's start project first. And then the name of our project. So we'll just do test, test, test Django. Something like that. Oh, that's right. We have to um, 
prefix pretty much all of our commands today with sudo. So sudo django admin start project and then the name of your project. Now that creates a folder in here called test django. So let's go in there. And then you have your basic directory project structure for Django with your manage.py file. And then inside of the other test Django directory, your settings.py file, your urls.py file, and the WSGI web server gateway interface pi file. So um, let's go ahead and just for the sake of it, create an app so we can do that with Python. And let me think, uh, let's see what version of Python we have, which Python and Python dash dash version. Uh, let's see, they probably have a Python 3 in here. So Python 3, yep. So let's use Python 3 manage.py start app and then the name of our app. So we'll just call this test app for consistency. And I was thinking that was gonna happen. We do have to prefix that with sudo as well. Um, and that will create our application directory here. Let's just look in there real quick the test app directory, and you got your, your models, your tests, your views, all that good stuff. So um, let's run a server. Let's do the sudo python, python3 manage.py run server. And this is the test server. This is not gonna use Apache. This is just, it's Django's built-in test server. So uh, python manage py run server. And then this is a pretty standard way to allow all IP addresses to connect 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 colon 8000. And we're going to test, I mean, we'll, we'll start up the server, but you'll notice real quick if we go back to the web browser and try to connect to this IP address, which one is it? This one right here, the Django stack. If we copy that, uh, paste in, that's the Apache default page. But if we try to go to port 8000, um, it's just going to hang here because port 8000 is blocked. We have to actually go into the Google Cloud Platform and create a firewall rule to allow that port to be open. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can stop that because it's not going to work. Back here in the Google Cloud Platform, we want to come up to the left-hand side again and go down to the VPC network. And we can click on firewall here. And we want to add a firewall rule for uh, port 8000 to be open on TCP. So it's going to look something similar to this one that is open right now for our Django stack test. Um, it's going to, instead of saying port 8, it's going to be 8000. So let's go ahead and do that. I just want to make sure that we uh, use the same target here. So I'm going to copy this, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to create a firewall rule. And the name for this is going to be, um, we'll just call it Django, Django, yeah, we'll call it Django test server. And the description is going to be open port 8000 for um, the Django test server. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we don't need logging. The default network, network's fine, default priority's fine. This is going to be for traffic coming into the server, and we want to allow if if these rules match. So um, the target is what I just copied, the Django stack test deployment target, and the IP ranges is going to, we're just gonna do everything here. So 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 0. We don't need a second source filter, and we want to open up port 8000. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and create this rule. And um, it's working, it's working. And when it's done, we should be able to see that TCP port 8000 allowed here. And there well, there it is, there we go. So let's go back and test it out. Um, let's affix to this 8000, hit enter. And this was expected, but we are seeing the Django uh, a, a Django web page being served. You're probably familiar with this, maybe you're not. All we have to do is go into our settings.py file and change the allowed hosts um, to add our IP address to that. So let's go ahead and finish up with that back in the terminal window. And you can see here, um, let me just show you in case you're not familiar, as you visit pages here in Django, you'll see that those requests come through to the test server, okay? So we'll control C out of here, and we want to do sudo vim um, test django and then settings.py. And in here is where you'll see your allowed hosts. And we want to add our IP address here. So 
um, so we don't see this error message show up anymore. So just a little bit of security, we'll save that, and then we'll run our server again with the python manage.py run server, hit enter, and if all goes according to plan, we should be able to refresh the page and see the default Django landing page. And we do, um, we are pretty much good to go as far as getting set up for the de development with Django. And, you know, I have a bunch of other videos for development with Django over here if you wanna check those out. And I also have a video about um, deploying Django in production when you do go public eventually with it. So check those out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next one.